that is of course a crime and you should be punished and qasas. Mm. And against the wealth or the property, this is like uh, deceiving or stealing or whatever, this is another crime. And for the honor and dignity, which is very important also, and we have several crimes regarding honor and dignity, right? From these crimes is what? <clears throat> From this crime is to attack the chastity of a person, of course. To accuse someone, for example, by zina. This is a crime in Islam or not? It's a big crime, right? And this person, if he didn't <coughs> inform it, this is what he should have. Huh? Killed. Not killed. Yeah. Huh? 80 lashes. Yeah. Right? 80 lashes. And he will be considered as fasir. Mm -hmm. And his witness will never be accepted for him. Mm -hmm. Even if he repented to 12. Not only one year. <coughs> no, even if he repented to 12. For him. Until he dies. Okay? You can my name. So, this is an example. What's another example that attacking like the honor or dignity of a Muslim is a very big sin in Islam, not small. I mean, you know, we have minor sins and we have major sins. What's the name of major sins in Arabic? Shirk. Kabair. Yeah, shirk from, of course. And Kabair is, Kabir al Kabair, this is major sin. And major sin, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive by the five prayers, does not forgive by just fasting from Ramadan to Ramadan, from Jum'ah to Jum'ah, it needs a special Tawbah. It needs, it needs a special Tawbah. This is Kabair. And if this Kabir al Kabair, it is related to another Muslim, to the right of another Muslim, then it, it needs what more? His forgiveness. His forgiveness. Forgiveness, return back his right, or this person should Forgive. forgive you, right? Otherwise, what will happen? Allah does not forgive the <coughs> rights of slaves. This is between slaves. Allah forgive. The sin has two uh, two aspects. <coughs> Bet yes, haqqullah. <coughs> between you and Allah, you can repent to Allah. <coughs> but haqqul ibad, <coughs> the right of ibad, this you have to return it back or they will forgive you in case, in case you cannot forgive as attacking that attacking the honor or dignity. So unfortunately, this is very sad that to find many Muslims, they are backbiting like me. And backbiting, which is in Arabic, what? Riba. Riba is what? What is Riba in Islam? You can give a simple definition. Huh? Very big sin. Yes, of course, one of the major sins. And what is the definition of Riba? Just like someone is eating with the brother. brother's flesh. Yes. Yeah, but the definition is mentioning your brother in his absence by negative way. Mentioning your brother in his absence in a negative, in a, just in a negative way, in a way that he doesn't like. How if they are insulting, abusing, attacking, accusing, you know? This sin, this sin, one of the top sins in Islam. One of the top sins, major sins. And some people, they think this sin is only for the <coughs> talkative person, like the one who is talking. No, it is for the one who is talking and the one who is listening. listening. <coughs> yeah, you are listening and you are silent. Some people, they say, uh, actually, uh, I listen a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of backbiting, and I am silent because he is my friend, and I cannot. I cannot oppose. I, it's difficult. I cannot go against him. He will cut his relation, or he will become angry on me. So I have to listen and be silent. I say no. If you listen and be silent, you take the same sin. You are sharing the same punishment. So, of course, this is not, uh, in this few minutes, we will not take all the details about backbiting even. But unfortunately, that um, the whispers of shaitan comes to a person, and our tongue, very easy to talk, right? So many people, they are very careful. 
not to do zina, not to drink alcohol, not to take riba. But when it comes to the mouth, you know, mashallah. They are talking as much as they can, whatever they like. And especially if they talk uh, within like small community and they are backbiting, this, this brings more sins, not only backbiting. It's backbiting, dividing the society, bringing fitna, and blah, blah. It will have, like, mashallah, multiple sins, not just one sin. So this, uh, all of us, we should be very, very careful. Of course, if someone is oppressed, someone is oppressed, he has the right to express his oppression. لا يحب الله الجار والسوي من القول إلا من ظلم. الله سبحانه وتعالى does not like to speak in public by something negative except for those who are oppressed. So if someone is oppressed, you can say, look, this person is oppressing me and he's saying like this and he's doing like this. And he is allowed to say so to solve the problem, not just to say to anyone. Anyhow, so a lot of details, but I'm reminding myself and everyone in these few minutes to protect our tongues. This is number one. Number two, anyone is trying to uh, spread some backbiting or trying to make fitna, you cannot listen. If you don't agree or if you agree, whatever, <laughs> don't listen and don't take more. Don't take more sins. Just stop this. Let it come and stop at your side. And don't let it to spread from your side. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purify our hearts and tongues. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from this big sin. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our honor and dignity. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us to be very careful about our brother's dignity and honor. Alhamdulillah. Thank you for your support today. Everyone had in shifty. We need tomorrow. So, stay tomorrow same from us until Aisha.